Hi everyone, greetings to you all. Uh, welcome to this e Troy presentation. This is part of the presentation that we did uh, in the PowerPoint teaching and learning with iPads, great apps to use. My name is Samuel Chuku Emeka. In this presentation, we shall illustrate how we uh, find some of these apps and also how we use them. We shall also place the apps in a folder so that it will be easy for us to use when we want to use them. Okay, so, uh, and I apologize if you are not seeing everything, but this is basically your iPad 2 right here. And uh, what you want to go into first when you, uh, when you uh, open your iPad, when you start it, is you want to uh, go to the App Store. App Store. Now you make sure that the battery is charged well. Then you want to go to the App Store. It has something like an A. It is right here. So I will tap on this App Store. And when I tap on it, it brings me to some heading that are right here. Right here we have a, the menu bar. The headings are all categories, games, education, newsstand, more. So we want to go to education. That is what we want to go to. So I tap on education. And when I tap on education, it's several of them. It says apps for teachers, apps for preschool and kindergarten, poems by heart, side, uh, side to the side, and so on. So uh, we have several of them. And when you look down here, when you actually look down, you see featured, top shots, genius, purchased, updates. Uh, those are also menus that uh, you will use later on. So, but what we want actually is apps for teachers. So, we, and as you, another thing before we go to apps for teachers, you can uh, scroll here upwards. You have a news and noteworthy. You have what's hot, big ideas. Uh, you have history, ESL, chemistry, life science. Is several of them. Uh, Pre-K to kindergarten zone. When you keep scrolling, right, you come here to where it says quick links, uh, and the under quick links we have education collections, I work, apps for teachers, I life, special education, apps for kids. So, for this presentation, we want apps for teachers. So I tap on it, apps for teachers. And it brings me to apps for teachers. In this section, we, are, we have so many apps uh, divided into categories. The categories here are, we have a classroom task. The first one is the classroom task. Then we have curricular support. We have classroom collaboration. We have instructional tools, personal organization, reference. So you see that, and these apps are updated every day. New apps are being introduced every day. Old apps are being updated all the time. So, um, technology is something that is always changing. We said that in, in the presentation. So, we can look at the classroom tax. Uh, you, if you look at the apps under this classroom tax, you see the first one is Teach. And it is free. It tells you education, free. So, tells you the name of the app first. Then tells you what... Uh, category you use it for, uh, whether wh what uh, task you use it for, whether it's education or utilities or productivity or business, all those tasks. Then it tells you the price. That's the third thing it tells you the price, whether it's free or not. So uh, we see here under classroom tax, teach app is free, show me interactive board is free. Uh, Education uh, here is free. This is a education interactive whiteboard. It's free. So if you want any of the apps, you tap on it like I did. You just tap on it. And if you 
tap on it you can read it read about the app first of course we're interested in the free stuff yeah as i said in the presentation we like free stuff so uh when you tap on it you read it you read the description what it does okay the description the information what's new like i said it keeps updating all the time version history developer info and privacy policy and the rest of them and once you're done you just tap outside it to go back to that so each one you have you can uh, uh, download it i've downloaded education inter educative whiteboard educations whiteboard i've downloaded it so it just tells me update and i can also update it uh, once you download it then once you download and install, then what you should now be updating it. Uh, let's go to the one I've not uh, downloaded and installed. I have done teach, show me, I've done all those. Uh, I have them right here. Um, okay, sketch, sketch. Uh, I've not uh, done this one. So, but it tells me it's free. I click on it, free. And once I click on free, it's the, uh, there's a green button that just came up, install app. And then I install the app. I just tap on it. And then it asks me for my Apple ID. When I enter my Apple ID, then I install the app. So that's the way you install apps. Okay. It's pretty straightforward. Trust me, it is pretty straightforward. Now, when you have installed the app, okay, then you have you you just tap here to go to the uh, home page it's right here you when you tap here to go to the home page and of course this is what it brings you and uh right now it's telling me to probably two updates yeah but uh let's go there now if you install the app you probably might not see it on this main page so all you need to do is you just scroll here especially when you have three buttons here that tells you you can scroll if you scroll here comes there okay the other one is for typing so you scroll here and you have the installed apps right here so you see here in this app uh, the apps I have installed so far find friends find iPhone iBooks iTunes you podcasts show me zigzag board edu creations and teach so, uh, when you install a lot of apps, it is good to organize it in folders. You see, like this is not in folder, it is scattered. So, and I can use these four apps to help me to teach, uh, to teach something I can quickly give to my students to, uh, as a supplement. So, what you might want to do is now to put all this in a folder. So, what can you do there? You just... Uh, you point at one of the apps show me is my favorite I like show me a lot so you point at show me and when you point at it you you kind of leave your uh, you point at it for some time and it will wiggle it's kind of wiggling okay when it starts wiggling like you see here you want to create a folder all you need to do is you drag I want to drag this for uh, these three apps to show me so that it will now create the folder so i drag the zigzag and i want to drag it inside show me and when i do that then uh, folder name comes up it says productivity here but i don't want productivity so i tap on it and when i tap on it i want to delete this and i want to now write uh, apps for teachers apps for teachers okay and when I'm finished I click done here so when I done I'll just tap this so this it's now changed the name to apps for teachers then I can take this also and put into this folder then I take this stitch I touch it and I drag it into this folder so you see now that placing it in folders is pretty easy yeah, and it makes it more organized. And it's still wiggling. When I want to stop it from wiggling, I just go here and tap on it. 
to stop pregnant. So you can kind of organize your apps, uh, apps for teaching, apps for organization, uh, apps for chemistry, apps for life sciences. You can organize it. Just play with it. Okay. The next thing I want to illustrate before I come to the end of this is the. Uh, now let's look at one of the apps that I have installed so far. I click on it. When I click on this, I want show me. So I click on show me. So it brings me to this page. And uh, of course, when I installed this, then I had to put in a username and password and, jo and I joined the community. So when you upload a video, it's all there. So there are so many videos here in the learning community. The good thing about it is that all these are free. Okay, so students can always refer to it. All right. Now, I look here at the. Uh, let me uh, teach, uh, illustrate how to use this app. For instance, show me. I just look at this, and I at the end here, I see create new show me. I click on it. That is create new show me, and then it brings me to the whiteboard, and it has a uh, several. Uh, several colors here on top it has an eraser and it has something that can take me backward to the uh, if i have uh, several slides okay and it has a place where i can import an image so you know just you you kind of should click on the color you want and you click on the record button once you click on the record button here in the middle it starts to record so I might say I am presenting for E Troy. Okay, this is cool. Now you see I made a mistake in the O. I can just touch the eraser and erase. I just touch the eraser and erase it. Uh, and erase it, and then after erasing it, I will touch this as well. All right, each one. This is cool, okay. And when you just finish, you just pause. You 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 can also pause it, pause it. And when you just finish, you click here, save, show me. To record. So I might say, I um. Presenting for E Troy. Okay, this is cool. Now, you see, I made a mistake in the O. I can just touch the eraser and erase. I just touch the eraser and erase it. Uh, and erase it. And then after erasing it, I will touch this as well. All right, you try. This is cool. Okay. And when you just finish, you just. Okay. So I don't want to save this. You know, it has two options here whether to delete or to save. I don't want to save it. So I just delete it. Okay. Now this is, and, and when I'm done, I just close it. I just go here and close it. Yeah. But if you save it, uh, this is nice. It would. Uh, download it and keep it in the community it will allow you to type in the description uh description uh, then store it under a category whether it's general mad or general chemistry and so on and then publish it to the online community then you have the option of downloading it as mp4 as well so this is actually the uh this is the thing we show me and that is the way you can do the rest. Uh, I've talked about the uh, edu creations and then also about teach. This is also nice. Uh, when you click on it, it says view tour. But if you don't want that, you can kind of view tour. Uh, when you're done, you click done. Yeah, but if you don't want that, there's a way you can bypass it. Just play with it. And when you are when you want to start, you just record. Yeah, this is for educations. 
and when you hit record you can take any one e troy I write e troy envision envision engage excel so you see how nice it is envision engage excel and when you're done you just click done you want to st save lesson or start over you can so that if you want to erase it it will erase it right away otherwise if you click on save lesson you have to fill the lesson title description and the rest of them but we don't actually want to do that so the main thing is to play with it so i st start over and then i cancel no start over and it brings me to a new page and i can just click here when i click on the home button uh it takes me to the home page i'll just go back here all right uh please there are so many as you can see there are so many apps just play with it and use it it's good for our students it's good for us to make our work easier it's good for our students to equip them with technology and also to assist them especially those of them taking online lesson uh, online courses which uh, is basically e try courses some of them might still need some directions which uh, we might want to give them or need some uh, need some more guidance or more uh, more ways to solve a particular problem it's also good for administrators and it's good for the community. Thank you so much for listening to this presentation and you have a great